Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for waking up with us. I'm Maggie Flecknow, and this is Houston Happens. It is April 7th. It is also Good Friday for all of you who observe it, myself included. And let me tell you, we have a very egg sighting. See what I did there? Show to kick off the Easter weekend. You know this girl loves a good theme. And Brennan's is actually setting up as we speak. They're live in studio serving up a delicious Easter brunch and my absolute favorite dessert. Any guesses on what it is? I guess you'll just have to tune in to find out. Plus, my fave little bunny has hopped on over for our annual peep show and taste test. That would be Charlotte the Little Chef. So what do you say? Let's get this show started my peeps starting with today's top talkers things are definitely getting wild this Easter check out these zoos in Australia and England that are giving their animals extra special treatment for Easter these Asian otters in Australia are utterly adorable check it out as they go off and they celebrate early with this special box filled with delicious fish frozen into an Easter egg shape. Now this is the perfect gift for these friends because the zoo says the frozen eggs encourage them to use their natural instincts to problem solve and melt the ice for the tasty reward. Then keepers at the zoo in Bedfordshire, England, should I do this next? you know, story in an English accent, pretend I'm from there. No, I'm just kidding. They arranged an Easter extravaganza for its lemurs, rhinos, and wolverines. Check this one out. They enjoyed paper mache eggs filled with their favorite treats. Plus, for the wolverines, there were pinatas stuffed with their favorite meaty snacks. Only to be them, right? And here's the thing, speaking of animals, if you're looking for a way to celebrate your pet this year, consider a gift that enriches their physical or mental health. Olivia Horton is standing by with some of the top tested products from Best Reviews. For many of us, our fur babies are a huge part of our families, so you always want to make sure that they have the absolute best. Joining us now with the top items for our four-legged friends is Jacob Palmer with Best Reviews. Jacob, thanks so much for joining us. And thanks for having me. You know, it's like you said, they are a part of our family, so you want to treat them with the best products. That's what we brought today. Of course. Now, when it comes to the top products, what is this first one over here? So it's always about adding new tech, right? And this is from Eufy, a pretty well-known brand in terms of making a ton of different products, especially smart products. Products. And this is awesome for those who leave their pets at home but still want to keep an eye on them. It's a pet camera that allows you to monitor them. It gives you an update if they're moving or making noise, uh, you know, to help be a good neighbor. And then best of all, you can send them a treat remotely. It's super easy in the app. So for all of our helicopter dog moms, this is the perfect <laughs> product, just like me. Now, also another product that's good for the pets is the Kong toys. And the Kong toys are great because they're good for both little and big dogs. Uh, you know, you have a huge dog, I have a small dog. <laughs> and they're great for both because it puts their mind to work. And when they use their mind and they play with it, they get a treat. So it kind of is a self-sustaining cycle. We loved it. It was really surprising in the testing lab how many different kinds of dogs embraced it. I'm telling you, so many different dogs love this Kong brand. And speaking of dogs, they also need some chew toys because we all know our furry friends love to chew things up. And again, we're thinking about the small and the big dogs. And so for your dog, we have the larger chew toy on the right here. Cool. It's great because it can get in there and take the plaque off of teeth. Obviously, Obviously, nothing's invincible when they're standing up against a Great Dane, but this will get as close as we've been able to find in our testing lab. And then next to it is this new style of dog toy where it's for the dogs that love to chew on sticks, but for a lot of dog owners, that's kind of a nerve-wracking uh, prospect because they don't want them to, you know, cut themselves. Also, you don't want dirty sticks being brought in the house. This is a great way to compromise because it's flavored in a way that they're going to keep coming back for it, but it also trains them, you know, to find this instead of bringing in a dirty stick from outside. Well, that's going to keep them healthy. And speaking of health, what about some of these products over here? And the, the common theme here as well is that we want to make things easy for the pet owner. And this is a product that we love. It's a plaque off powder and it's so easy. You just put a little bit of it in their food, a little bit of it in their water. It doesn't really change anything. It's got no, uh, you know, additives that would cause concern. And so it's super natural, a great product, especially if your uh, pet has some nasty smelling <laughs> breath. Great product there to start with. Love that. I know 
so many different people can use that product. Now, what about for the small cats and even the small dogs? People want to travel. They want to bring their pets with them. This is a great option for if you have that small pet. We tested it with a bunny, and it got the job done. Great for vet visits or something else where you need to take them, but you want them to ride in comfort. Best part about this product from Texans is that it has a removable pad that you can take out to make sure that it stays clean and doesn't get gross over time. So that could be good for dogs, cats, any kind of small animal that you have. Now, speaking of cats, they always have a litter, and this one's going to help us clean it up a little bit better. So let's save the, the most interesting product for last. <laughs> this is the litter robot. Uh, it is so interesting because, number one, aesthetically, it's going to bring a totally different vibe. You know, we recommend using it in something like a laundry room or an entryway, uh, somewhere where it's the utilitarian look of it is going to fit in. But what's so cool about it and what's so exciting for our testers who used it was that they don't have to handle the litter anymore. It automatically sifts it through kind of like a washing machine when it detects that there's something on top of the litter in there, the kitty litter in there, and then it goes down to the lower container and you just pull out the bag, throw it out with your trash. So all of these are going to make your lives as pet owners a little bit easier. Thank you so much, Jacob. Thanks for having me. Of course. To learn more about these products and others, just head to bestreviews.com or scan that QR code right on your screen. You can't escape justice. She was going to get me. What'd you do? I hear <laughs> Judge Mattis. <laughs> Next on CW 39 Houston. I had an injury and reached out to Morgan and Morgan. The process was easy. Morgan and Morgan made it easy. They made it super easy. I got her on the job. The vehicle I was in spun around and flipped over. We had gotten hit, which totaled our vehicle. I had never been in a crash before. As sophisticated as my case was, Morgan and Morgan took care of everything for me. Everything was taken care of by Morgan and Morgan. They uh, made everything easy. I really didn't have to do anything. It was actually a very easy process. Bring home style that lasts with my Cindy Crawford home collection at Rooms to Go. Gorgeous colors, stunning fabrics, and amazing designs. Because great style starts with having great choices. Whether you love the whole room or just one piece, you'll find what you want at an affordable price. Come see what's new from my Cindy Crawford home collection at Rooms to Go. Looking this good has never been this easy. Whether you're signing up for Medicare for the first time or looking for a plan that provides the coverage, benefits, and savings you really need, I've got exciting news for you. Kelsey Care Advantage is the local plan that gives you more. While original Medicare covers hospital and medical insurance, Kelsey Care Advantage covers prescription drugs, comprehensive dental, vision and hearing, over-the-counter allowances, worldwide emergency care, and much more all at no additional cost. Speaking of costs, how about zero cost for monthly premiums, primary care copays, and drug deductibles? Best of all, you can see any doctor even out of our network. No wonder we're ranked Texas best Medicare Advantage plan. Get more without paying more. Enroll in Kelsey Care Advantage today. Call 713-442-7924. That's 713-442-7924. When I saw my son take his first steps, I knew it's time to take first steps of my own. I chose a new career in the medical field and the College of Healthcare Professions. CHCP has fully online or on-campus classes that meet just two days a week. So I could work while in school. Start a rewarding career in as little as nine months. CHCP is known for student support and job placement assistance. Nicely done. Take your first step. Visit chcp.edu today for the career of your life. Of course, it's the weekend, and you may be wanting to snuggle up in this weather. Well, we're going to check in with Ido for an Easter forecast very soon. But first, Dean Richards brings you what's cool to watch and what's not in your weekend movie review. I need the greatest basketball shoe that's ever been made. Who's the player? Michael Jordan. Your motor. Well, it's finally come to this. I'm now reviewing a movie about a shoe. How true, it's a very special shoe, designed for a very special person. And this is also a very special movie, maybe one of the best movies of the year. I'm talking about Air, 
The Ben Affleck directed story of how the Nike shoe company put everything on the line to sign Michael Jordan to a contract to wear and endorse their shoes, creating a shoe designed just for him, the Air Jordan. Maybe the biggest success story in the history of athletic footwear. But this movie is so much more than a cleverly layered business story. It's about an era completely transforming you back to 1984, just as Michael is about to join the Chicago Bulls. Every fiber of this movie is massively mid-80s. The look, the feel, the wheels, the phones, and especially the music. No soundtrack has been so perfect for its story as this one, taking you right back, setting the table for this brilliantly written story centered around a sports marketing executive, Sonny Vaccaro, who becomes obsessed with doing the impossible, convincing Michael, or more accurately, convincing his mother, Dolores Jordan, to sign with them. Matt Damon and Viola Davis both turn in award-winning performances in this charming, powerful, and also at times hilarious script. And every side character here adds something special. From Jason Bateman to Chris Tucker, Marlon Wayans, even Affleck himself, who saved a small but meaty role for himself in Air. It's a movie centered around the greatest of all time, yet we never really see Michael in anything but a side or back shot. And while there'd be no movie without him, he is not the star of Air. It's about his mom and all she did to guide and protect her son and the tenacity and risk-taking of the sports agent who wouldn't quit. Now, if you were only thinking about maybe, eventually, possibly going to see this movie, all I can do is quote the famous Nike ad slogan and say, just do it. It's one of the best movie experiences I've had in a long time. It's a Dean's List A. There's also the movie adaptation of the popular video game, the Super Mario Brothers movie. Fans of the game will love the leaps of nostalgia here. For everyone else, it's a harmless, better than average kids film that I was surprised took so long to make. Chris Pratt and Charlie Day provide voices, the Italian plumber brothers, in this perfect offering for kids six and above. It's a Dean's List C+. Well, you can always get my movie reviews and home video picks sent right to your phones every week just by texting the word Dean to 97999. Hope you have a great weekend in Chicago. I'm Dean Richards. Thank you, Dean. And if you want to get out and about, there are a lot of things going on in our area this weekend, and lots of it is, you guessed it, Easter related. So grab your peeps and head to the Lone Star Flight Museum for their Easter egg hunt in the museum's hangars. This is cool. Little aviators will be able to hunt for Easter eggs around the museum's planes. The egg hunt will take place tomorrow at the Lone Star Flight Museum, which is located at Ellington Airport. It runs from 9 until 11, with different age groups getting to hunt for eggs at different times. For more Easter activities, hunt no further. We have them over on our website. Just go to CW39.com. All right, get in formation, my favorite peep, or should I say somebody. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> we even rehearsed. Ready? Okay, okay, wait, let me back the, up. Back up. Back up, okay? Back it up, girlfriend. <clears throat> on the count of three. One, two, three. Boom. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Let's hop to this forecast, girl. <laughs> I I thought about hopping, but I'm gonna fall. So let. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's don't a twist your ankle. <laughs> well, there's a cord right here. So <laughs> hey, talking about Easter, this is your forecast <laughs> for Easter you Sunday. You look so excited to be wearing this. <laughs> like this the whole time. Okay, so morning time, we're looking at 60 cloudy conditions by noon, just a few peaks of sunshine. It's going to be about 7 and then 2 p.m. 73 degrees and Easter egg hunt cookouts, whatever you want to do. We're looking at some partly cloudy skies 74 and the good news is it's going to be dry. Unlike today, here's a look at your forecast rain chances as we head into this afternoon. 70, 60% chance. We ramp that up to 80 as we head into the early evening hours, and that's because we still have a bulk of showers on the way. Here's a look at future cast. Starting the clock at 10 a.m. this morning, start it, stopping at noon, just in case you want to have a little picnic outside. I don't 
do not suggest that because we're going to continue to see seeing some rain and then by 4 p.m. stopping the clock there. There is some more rain, especially along the coastline, but we start to dry out just a little by 7 p.m. But we're going to hang on to this cloud cover as we head into tomorrow and also Sunday morning. Rain wise, we're still got quite a bit in store for the rest of today. Conroe, you're looking at three inches possibly, and then we're in the dot single digits for Houston, Angleton, Galveston, so less than an inch, but still it's going to be soggy out there, Maggie. I'm so glad today isn't Easter Sunday. <laughs> um, Hugh Hefner's calling. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, we could be in a calendar. Uh, if you're too young, don't worry about it. Folks. Here's the thing, though. Um, hey, thank you for being such a good friend and yes, playing along and playing course. dress up with me. This is how moms have fun at work. <laughs> uh, so the Masters, I know we've been talking about mm -hmm. it. It's kind of soggy there, but I there was some yep. sunshine. Ito, you have to see this video, okay? okay? It happened at the annual Par 3 contest. It's basically where the golfers take their kids to work day. So check this out. Harold Barner's 14-month-old son. He's probably the cutest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. His name is Liam. He stole the show and nearly the ball. He took off running and tried to grab a live ball. Well, here's the great thing is dad, he uh, definitely has reflexes and they are on point. He just swooped in, pulled a dad move, and it was just in time. I have to say that's probably the most exciting replay that we will be seeing at the Masters in my opinion. Golf clap for that one. I love it. Well, golf clap for our next guest. I'm so excited because it has to be one of my favorite restaurants since 1967. Brennan's of Houston is where Houstonians have celebrated memorable occasions and special events with family and friends. I know I have a lot of birthdays and one of those also is Easter. So it is my pleasure to welcome Alex Brennan Martin. Thank you so much for waking up with us. Well, it's nice to be here. Thanks. I know it is a busy time for you. It is, it is. It's uh, the things are hopping. Ah. Yeah, yeah, you're, bad, you're bad, after bad, this bad, girl's heart. Bad. You saw my, I was going to wear the bunny ears, but I didn't want to be a distraction. No, we're good. <laughs> we're going to open flame here, so I know. we'll keep the bunny so ears. So what, there. you are known for one of the most amazing desserts, and it also happens to be my favorite. Very good, yeah, Bananas Foster, started by my family way back when, uh, right after we just opened in the, uh, in the 19, late 40s, early 50s, and uh, one of my uncles was married to a family, they were in the fruit importing business, and uh, so they were bringing fruit from Central America, if you wanted a boatload of oranges, you had to take a boatload of bananas, if you wanted a boatload of lemons, you had to take a boatload of bananas, your sense of the theme, yeah. there were a lot of bananas. So we. We cooked a lot with bananas, and they 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 would just drop them off at the at the restaurant rather than let them spoil. And uh -huh. so we were cooking with bananas. Believe it or not, even a famous dish we have is uh, steak Stanley, which is uh, a steak with uh, uh, sautéed bananas, as my grandmother used to make. When really? They, yeah, yeah. It's like so. you never let food go to waste. No, 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 no. So bananas Foster, flaming in the dining room, uh, created by my 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 mom and one of the chefs, Paul Blanchet, and uh, uncles. Everybody sort of pitched in and and and. So you're gonna make it for us? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yeah, should I yeah. step? I do have hair products. No, that's 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 <laughs> and you fine. Have great that's hair, fine. Sir. That's fine. We'll, we'll just we'll just get it. And get now it you walk us through this. So what is it about your restaurant? I mean, I feel it's so iconic. In fact, movies have been shot there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We the one that people, a lot of people know is Terms of Endearment when Shirley Jane and Shirley MacLaine uh -huh. and Jack Nicholson came to the restaurant uh, from River Oaks. There's a to, picture. To Brennan's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I love in the movie they they came from River Oaks to Brennan's by way of driving on the beach in Galveston. So it's one of the funny things the car spins out goes in the yeah. water. But at any rate, um, so yeah, that was a, that was a fun day and that was a that, you know that was a big thing when I first first got here I was a lot younger and a lot skinnier oh no yeah 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 I mean I, I wouldn't be very good because I have to say I would be eating Brennan's your banana foster here is the original building which is amazing. yeah yeah it was a junior league built by mr. John Staub same gentleman who the architect of uh, Bayou Bend oh, okay. and a lot of other wonderful homes in and around Houston and he uh, was commissioned to build the the Junior League building, and uh -huh. uh, it was where it is located today, where Brennan's is located today. Uh -huh. And uh, and here it is now. Yeah, it's actually modeled after a building in New Orleans, which my family ultimately moved Brennan's to. Jeez. So when we showed up here in the in the uh, mid '60s, um, here was almost an exact duplicate. 
of our building in New Orleans. So, I love this. Well, yeah. we have about a minute. Yeah, so good. Show me okay, so bit. bananas, Foster, you get your butter going. The ingredients are very simple. Butter, cinnamon, brown sugar, rum, okay. and, and bananas, of course. And so we're going to so get... So we could make this at home. That's what I'm saying. This is probably one of the more... Go to our website. The, 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 the uh, inst uh, instructions are there now. I'm going to put... You have instructions? Whoa! No, 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 I didn't want to... No, we'll... Okay, I should. and look at all this. I mean, your food is delicious, shrimp and grits, everything. And Mother's Day is going to be here before we know it. Right. And we want to make our reservations. Where can people go for more information? Uh, go to our website, brennanshouston.com, mm -hmm. and uh, we're, we're easy to find. And what is your favorite item on the menu, would you say? Oh, this time of the year, crawfish. I mean, anything that we're doing with crawfish this time of the year um, I, is my favorite course. But, but golf crab is also absolutely fabulous. So you just want to saute and cook the bananas. We're doing this through the magic of television and it. a little bit more uh, quickly. All right. Well, we're going to continue and we'll show you the final product after the break. But as always, it was a pleasure having you and thank Thanks you for so all the memories that my family shared at your restaurant. And thank you guys you should much. share some memories there too. So we'll have all of this information over on our website, CW39.com. The Peeps Show with my little Charlotte is up next. Stay tuned for that. Thank you again. When it comes to furniture, one size just doesn't fit all. But one collection does. The new modular one from Rooms to Go. Perfectly designed to fit any space, any style, and any budget. Just choose your pieces and easily build your perfect room. The best part, because it's Rooms to Go, it's not only super affordable, it's super comfortable too. I'm Julianne Huff, and this is what's possible at Rooms to Go. Make a move in the most electrifying Honda vehicles yet. Like the CRV and Accord, with available hybrid powertrains designed for more responsive performance Get up and, go. and more advanced tech. When you drive a Honda, you're driving with the 2022 Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com Best Value brand. Get moving and find the Honda for you. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. To the tooth grinders, the ice chewers, and the bottle openers. You are welcome here. At Jefferson Dental and Orthodontics, we get it. Life happens, and your teeth take a beating. And we're not here to scold anybody or make you go broke. We're here to meet you where you are. That means treating everyone from six-month-olds to senior citizens. It means using cutting-edge technology to show you exactly what's going on in your mouth. It means creating payment plans that work with your budget, whether you're insured, or not. It means having the very best dentists and staying open on evenings and weekends. It doesn't matter if your last dentist appointment was months ago or a decade ago. At Jefferson Dental and Orthodontics, all smiles are welcome here, not just the perfect ones. Call 800-467-5004 to schedule your appointment today. Jefferson Dental. Call 800-467-5004 to schedule your appointment today. We're Houston Capital Home Buyers. We want to buy your as is property for cash. For over 15 years all over Houston, we've been helping people just like you divorce, inherited a house, vacant land, multifamily rentals, and even mobile homes on land. No matter the condition or price range, we buy it all. Plus, you don't pay any fees. So give us a call. We love to discuss your options. And close on your timeline. So please call us at 713-902-3000. 713-902-3000. Elizabeth Vargas Reports, my new show, will not be an opinion show. It is a straight news show. The ground we've staked, you can see very clearly on News Nation. Elizabeth Vargas Reports, weeknight, 6, 5 central on News Nation. because it is time for our yearly are you ready for this peeps show and taste test with my fave somebody charlotte the little chef charlotte thank you for coming on my show i must say i love your bunny ears thank you yours are better than mine show me what yours do yeah we they got this in the dark but i don't know they glow in the dark maybe you don't know. Maybe we'll try it later. We'll turn off the studio lights. But you are here because I had to call my best son bunny to do a Peeps taste test. Remember when we did this before? Okay, so what is your favorite Peep flavor? Do you remember? Uh, 
rainbow. Rainbow, okay, so here's the thing. They have birthday cake. Do you wanna try birthday cake? They have cotton candy, Dr. Pepper, sour watermelon, kettle corn, or regular, or some with chocolate. What would you like to taste? The chocolate one first. I knew you would want chocolate. Okay, you taste that one. You know what I wanna taste, and I know that my dad is gonna be jealous. There mm. is, uh-oh, happens to the best of us. Cheers. This one's kettle corn. Okay, mm. Charlotte, tell me about that one. What do you like about it? The white part. The white part, the marshmallow part. Mm -hmm. Do you know that back in the day, it used to take them over 20 hours to make one of these? Could you imagine that? Yeah, you wanna taste this one? This one tastes like kettle corn. Whoa. What do you think? Mm. Do you like it? Okay, which one should we, should we try? Birthday cake? Yeah. Okay, try that one. And I'll try Dr. Pepper. Let's see. What do you think about that one? Spicy. Spicy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's spicy cake. <laughs> <laughs> here, try this one. Yeah. Uh oh. Don't worry, girl. I'm always here to help you. What are you most excited about for Easter? Mm, getting candy. Whoops. Well, here's some more. Here, I'll hold it for you. Luckily, your mommy is so sweet and lets you eat candy with me and get a sugar high. What do you think about the Dr. Pepper one? Mm. So which, so far, which one has been your favorite one? This one. Charlotte loves chocolate. Is chocolate your favorite? Yeah. What's your other favorite candy, would you say? Mm. This one. Yeah, the birthday cake. Mm -hmm. And you have an Easter song. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna sing it for us? No, not today. Mm -hmm. No. And is it your baby brother's first Easter? Yep. Okay, well guess what, May, it's her first Easter. She got this for your brother. <gasps> And look at what else, May and I got you this. We got you a Hello Kitty egg, and we got you a little necklace. Happy Easter. Oh, is it candy necklace? It is a candy necklace. You can eat it? You can eat it. <laughs> All right, my love. I love you so much. Happy Easter, sweetie. Should we eat some more peeps? Yes. Okay, I'll give you more chocolate peeps. All right, can you tell everybody, happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, have a great rest of your weekend. And I'm off on Monday, but I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye for now, my fave peep. Mwah. <laughs> All right, cheers, let's eat some more.